Now, over the years, I've definitely been the guy that says, don't update to this, don't update to that, don't update to this. Uh, it's just been a part of my uh, aesthetic that I try to warn you guys over the years about updating your operating system, especially when you're in the middle of like projects, uh, if you're mixing something, producing something, mastering something, you're a musician, you gig out, and you depend on your computer for mission critical task, you don't want to update your stuff in the middle of all of that so with that being said apple has uh started the process of releasing mac os sonoma you can get on it on a public beta uh right now don't do that please don't do that don't don't be that guy don't be that guy that gets on the beta beta you just have to be careful when it comes to these things because again we depend on our uh, computers to be able to provide for us our living our money and even if you do it as a hobby it's still frustrating uh to open up a session and have things not work ask me how i know i've definitely been that guy i've been the guy that's opened up sessions opened up things and nothing's working and i'm stuck you know what i mean having to upgrade 50 plugins and it's just like ah you know what i'm saying you don't want to do that so I don't want to rehash all of the information that I rehash every year in these videos. It's pointless to say the same thing over and over and over again, but it basically boils down to three main reasons why you should not be updating your system like that. Hardware and software support. Now, just because something is working doesn't mean that it's supported. So if you're on an unsupported operating system uh, and you have issues, they have no obligation to give you any kind of support or reimbursement if it causes issues that cost you money. And number three is basically don't update a working system. There's no reason for you to be updating something constantly because Apple issues out security updates for operating systems that are two to three years old. That computer back there is on Big Sur and I think I got a, uh, a security update for it like a few months ago. So there's no reason to, to update, you know, for security reasons or anything like that. And most of the features are gimmicky anyway. Now with that out the way, I want to share the most important thing, and that is, uh, is it okay to upgrade to macOS Ventura? And the answer to that for me is yes, it is. When I check Production Expert, which is one of my uh, favorite websites for this kind of thing, I check it every year, every other month to see what's supported, what's working. This is a great resource to see if your stuff is compatible, if it's working, if it's supported. Uh, pretty much all of the developers, the major developers, developers are listed over here and you can see uh, yes, no, uh, or some, you know, over here in this little category. So I'll link this down below so you guys can check it out just for yourself. Uh, they also have one up for Sonoma, I believe, and I'll link that down below so you can keep in track of when it's okay to update to Sonoma. Now, as you can see, I am clearly on Mac OS Ventura. I've been on it for a few months now on my MacBook uh, and everything has been working fine. I've been using uh, Logic uh, with no issues, producing and doing records and doing all of these things like that. And all of my stuff works just fine, no issues, no problem. So it's totally okay uh, for you to upgrade to Ventura now. And the next thing I wanna talk to you guys about is when is the best time to actually upgrade your computer system and it's really not when you think it is but if you want to know when that time is make sure you check this video right here